Okay, guys, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Just arrived in Prim. I'm gonna stay on this side. We're gonna have to talk to them. We're gonna have to go in there and uh, fix the problem for them with these raiders and bandits or whatever. They recommend I don't go through the bridge. They recommend I stay on this side, which is the west side of the track. And I thought that was a quantum. Nuka-Cola quantum. Which would be exceptionally rare um, in this place. Like I said, because... Ah! I almost fell. Because... Um, Nuka-Cola isn't the drink of choice in New Vegas. No, no, no. It's Sunset Sarsaparilla, son. Give you that muscle. Builds that muscle. No, it doesn't. That's actually a decent looking bedroll. And it rolls up. You can throw it in your pack. Ow. What's with the audio? Stop. There we go. Alright, let's have a chat with this guy. We won't go quietly. Legion can count on that. I'm always scratching himself. I have to go in there. But I need to talk to... Is there someone I can talk to? That's what I want to know. Go look for any items of value. Wh whip out the sniper rifle, y'all. They won't let me steal. And somehow they'll know. Yeah, they'll somehow know... That I've taken it, even though they don't see me. That that's Fallout logic. Hashtag, hashtag Fallout logic. I'm having a bad day. Don't make me take it out on you. You won't what with me. I'm gonna tell you one time. Don't fuck with me. Who's in charge, boys? Aha! Here we go. Here's their camp. This guy seems like the knowledgeable type. Who are you? Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where is he? Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Goodbye. Sir. Well, at least he's respectful, I gotta say. They have no use for this stuff. As gritty and disgusting a lot of these camps are, they seem homey and cozy, except for the blood on the wall, the random blood splatter. They don't want me in there. For obvious reasons. The NCR are torturing people. There's Hayes' tent. Who's is this? Well, let's just go in the NCR tent and just say what's up. So I could take a nap here, but I don't want to see anything or steal anything. I didn't take anything. I'm just looking. Watch Lieutenant Hayes is just masturbating. Sorry about that, guys. I was just masturbating. Whoa. Well, there you do have a female soldier in here. I'm gonna have a. S oh, there's only one s chair. That's stupid. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any information on the convicts? I mean, I killed a big group of them. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Uh, I have some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. That's it. 
So really, you can't get anything from this guy. I mean, you don't really need him. I'm gonna, I never. I don't think I ever talked to him in my original series when I played this on my own. I'm pretty sure I just said fuck it. I'm going up there, and I disarmed a bunch of bombs, and it's pretty dramatic. Dun da dun da dun da da dun da dun da dun da dun dun dun. Sorry, I just saw the hat and just reminded me. I'm going in. Oh fuck! Kobe. That's what I mean. That's what I remember seeing. Am I gimping? A little bit. I'm gonna have to use a. Uh, where's my limbs at? There we go. We're good. Hello? Anybody here? Ooh, what's this? Sergeant. Oh, Beagle doesn't like it when you enter there. It's too bad things like the roller coaster don't work anymore. Think of the possibilities. Whoa! Fuck them! Oh shit, that thing rocks it. Oh god! Know your place, amigo. This ain't your- oh shit, what did I just take? I'm sure it was useful. NCR money. Troublemaker outfit. Don't want to waste my time. There's an actual casino here. I'm pretty sure you can go along the, uh, the road. Mojave Express in Prim. There it is. That's where we got our thing from. Wait, before we do anything. Items. Weapons? I have a lot of dynamite. It's worth a lot. Holy shit. I can make mint off that. And so far my weight is doing okay. Right, I was going to repair this. It doesn't do that well, but you never know how good it could be. The Vicky and Vance. Wait a minute, didn't I say I was going to hit that up? Like where, uh, the Vicky and Vance, it's like, uh, uh, like, it's like a Bonnie and Clyde type thing. That's what it's, that's what it's a play on. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? What can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was Strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. 
Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. What the fuck did he look Hope like? Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. I just, I just noticed there was uh, music going on. No, let me kick it in the head. Where's the radio? Oh, you know what? I don't think I can turn that shit off. Come back, hey, youngster. I want to ask some more about the delivery. Some men stole my package. Man, check the suit. They passed. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of these men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Deputy the Beagle. Town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Copy. Anything else? Where can I get information? Oh, they're probably going to say the thing is. A Beagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his. That's the. Is that the casino across the way? Questions about Prim. Well. Do you? Oh, I know where it is. Sure. Uh, what happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here Ugh. for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, Fuck those a guys, chunk man. of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Uh, more questions. What's that Vicky in Vance? That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Okay, more questions. What's the Bison Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here. Yeah, in right town. across the street. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Okay, uh, more questions. That's it. Don't go get. I've already got myself shot, buddy. I can handle it. Move along, please. Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Sure. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell that tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting check cashing fraud and gas pump drive offs but crime is crime they drove reckless too having lived by the gun well man's old one anyway it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun 
Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. You just take the thing. Goodbye. Happy trail. That's all I needed to know was there was a, uh... There was a gun. I love how you can't even pay for a drink. Like, what if I wanted to play roulette? Like, where? Rather be left alone in my misery. Whatever. Santa baby, da 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 da. Wait, where is it? There's the death car right there. Howdy. Howdy. Like some other men do. Santa baby. These are some legit, these are decent songs. There's the banky banky boo. Let me back, oh my god, can you imagine the bank in there? Be a dick move, but. These mannequins display replicas of some of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion, chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress. Oh, they're not here anymore. 9mm machine gun preserved in the glass case. To the left of this plaque is an actual weapon Vance carried in the paper wrap box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by a hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life. The weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun, so long as his aim was exact and then he started off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload. Well, it's not in here, so someone stole it. Vicky's outfits. Everyone stole this shit. There's the car, though. That's pretty cool. This place is worthless. Hate it. Pram slam at your service, motherfuckers. La -da -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect? I wonder if I can find it. Wouldn't that be cool if I actually found it somewhere? Patriots Cookbook. There's lots to cook book. There's lots to cookie bookie with you. There's the uh I'm gonna go in here first, see what we can find. Oh hold up. There's probably nothing in here. It's just I don't it's crazy how there's like nothing. Like these people live here, but they don't even try to do anything about it. Ah, oh. what's that? What is Mill Serp review? I totally missed it. Watch that, Mill Serp. For guns, okay. It ups my guns for a bit. Oh, the Nash residence. Or oh, well, he's also in charge of the Express. Try to fix it. Oh. Three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Wait a minute, doesn't that get you a follower? 55 or higher. Let me see something. 55, so... Do I have... I have a science one, yeah? Yeah, but what's my science at? Let's take a look. Skills. 25. That'll only make it 35, so it's definitely not high enough. There's nothing I can do about that.
I love how in the meat of it all... You could stay, like, you're still delivering. There's, like, even though this place just looks completely fucked. But hey. If I can remember this bot, I'll come back. So I never actually searched that much on my last series. I barely made it to Prim. Alright, well, let's go to the, uh, the Bison Steve. See if we can get our old pal out of there. Bars and steep hotel and casino. I've yet to go to Vegas. Something I should probably do in my lifetime. Coming up on 24 years of age. Oh, tits. Oh, they didn't like that. Convict. This will open the door. Version. Okay. Hearing. Ah, I wasted it. Hearing. Let's try fencing. Oh, close. Fencing. Another C. Putting, no, it'd be, let's try lending. Nice. Let me in, bitch. Whoa. Let's take care of our little guest. No, it's not good enough. Oh. I don't need bats to show you where your fucking seat is. <laughs> Alright, lunchbox. Wow. There we go. Medex. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. 9 mil, Radex. Oh, I didn't want the bottle. Crap. Hold on, let me drop the bottle. Star bottle cap. Where'd the bottle go? There it is. Don't want that shit. We're not starting a bottle drive here. Empty syringes are pointless. At least I think they are. Any goodies in here? Brahmin steak? Oh, I'd love that. Eh, I don't know. I don't really... I'm sure I'll find a lunchbox later. I probably don't have enough for this. That's... A, oh, you need 50. What am I sitting at? Uh, I think I'm at like 30. 25. No, nope, lockpick. I'm at 27. I'm probably not going to have enough to open this. Let me try a little something, something. Let me try something. Uh, aid. Let me try the Mentats. No, not the Mentats. Yeah, only one at a time. That's the problem. Is there anything that ups my science at all? Not yet. So I can't open this just yet. That's upsetting. That's life. There's probably nothing too crazy in it. Oh. Okay. Money. Pistol. The cleaver. Is it worth anything? 
Not really. Just any old steak knife. All right, weapons. Oh, that's what I want. That nine mil. I got lots of these fuckers. Bam. Still not that good overall. This hotel does not seem like a hotel. I don't know about y'all. Let's take a look, see if there's anything of value. Wait, are pre-war books worth anything? I don't think so. But I know where to find them. If I do want to go for it. Oh, I can't get it. See, I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna wanna come back. Oh. You know, and get these. Okay. Actually this kinda does look like one. Oh, another star. Wait a minute. Isn't that in the first DLC? I don't know if I want to go there just yet. Whoa, shit! That actually scared me quite a bit. Oh my gosh. Nuka Cola. Ah! My accuracy is bollocks. How about you? You like that? You like that? You like that? Woo! I don't think he liked that. Oh, he does have a varmint rifle. No wonder it didn't hurt. Getting close to my limit. These guys are just using varmint rifles, so they're bolt rifles. Actually, not a bad little pistol now, is it? Stuart, I wonder if it even breaks. So far, it's like beasting and feasting. The, the varmint rifle isn't that bad anymore either. Still got that. I want to wait until I really, really need to repair it. Just wondering if I should go in here just yet. Damn! Reloaded before he hit the ground. Block flying beat. No. Another 9 mil. Look at that. This thing is really, really good. Well, in comparison, it's just best quality. Oh, shit. There he is. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. You got it. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Well, okay. My speech is... Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. <sighs> you know, I'm not going to say that to him. I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. Wow. I wish I had a 40. I could have... Ooh, look at all this purified water. No, they won't be needing any of this. Ooh, atomic cocktails. 
Don't want that. I want the atomic cocktail because that sounds like fun as hell. It just sounded like a good time. Pilot light. I don't know if I want it. You can make. I don't know. The thing is, I'm not ready to make stuff yet. Look at all this purified water, though. Like, that's really handy. My goodness.